Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're talking about Virabhadrasana B, which is a standing posture, otherwise known as Warrior B, um, and it's featured in the Sun Salutation B of the Ashtanga Yoga series, as well as in the little vinyasa flow that we do to transition from standing to seated postures. So let's start from um, Samastiti here in the middle of the mat, and we're just going to take the legs wide to start our position. So for warrior B, what we want to do is turn the right foot out 90 degrees. So it's facing the back of the mat and then just slightly turn in the back foot to about five degrees. So if you know the pose Parshvakonasana, it's the same for this pose. So bend your right knee until the knee is directly above the ankle and turn the back toes in to five degrees. So you want to ground the outside of that back foot. Don't let it come off the floor. Send the energy down into the outside of the foot. And then rather than just sinking down into the hips, really get a feel for the fact that your legs are strong and supporting you. And I like to think of the idea of buoyancy in the hips. It's just like they're bouncy and floaty. So at any point in this pose, you could hold yourself quite comfortably with the strength of your legs in that position. Okay, from here, we're gonna roll the thigh bones backwards. So rather than just letting them collapse in, we wanna open across the front of the groin and these muscles in the um, groin called the adductors. So we need to think about rolling the thigh bones backwards in the sockets and the pelvis reaches forwards underneath us, okay? From here, open the arms, shoulder height. Make sure this, you're trying to get this thigh parallel with the mat, that's a nice strong position and then gaze over the right middle finger. Reach the arms out to strengthen the shoulders and make sure that you're not stucking, sticking out your tailbone and relaxing your belly. This is switched on and your spine is in a neutral position. So there's a little bit of a curve, but not overarching. Then push into your right leg, gently turn the feet and let's do the left side. So the back toes turn in five degrees, keep the outside of the foot grounded Bend your left knee to 90 degrees. And we're trying to square the hips to the side of the mat. Good, and then rolling the thigh bones backwards to open these muscles on the inner thighs. If you need a wider stance, take a wider stance. The arms come out, reaching out through the fingertips to strengthen through the shoulders, keeping the core zipped on, preventing the lower back from overarching. You do want a little bit of the arch, but not too much. And then exhale, straighten the leg and just come back to summer CTE. All right, let me know if you have any questions, just leave them in the box below and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to hear more from me in the future and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks again for joining me and I'll see you here again soon.